Dear viewers, before starting our analysis, we have to define vertical load on our structure. So to define vertical load, we'll go def load combination, and uh, we have defined a uh, value previously here EV. We'll go ahead and modify, and here we'll use that SQL factor. Okay. Now how we'll get that Excel, Excel uh, I mean SQL factor? if we just go to our slide i have taken same uh, i have just arranged that value here first of all we have to calculate vertical seismic load effect so for vertical seismic load effect we have to calculate ev with that equation 0 0.2 into sds d sds means design spectral response acceleration parameter at short period obtained from section 11.4.5 so here 11.4.5 and d is nothing but our dead load so see that's why we have taken that dead load here in our software here and we'll uh, multiply that dead load with rest of our value and then we'll get ev okay is it clear to you now so for that i'll go here and uh, i'll find out now that rest value 0.2 sds clear that means design spectral response acceleration parameter for short period so for that uh we'll uh, we need now sds so from here we'll get sds so to find out sds we need i mean the equation is two third of sms s m s so to find out sms we have to um, to find out SMS, we have to use another clause that is 11.4.4. Okay, for that, here SMS to find out that value, we need FA and FS. So, now is it clear to us uh, already in earthquake analysis? We have deep, uh, find found FA and ss right if i show you here a little bit if i go to define load pattern x modify see here this is the value of ss 0 0.5 and here the value of fa 0 0.9 is it clear to you simply here you'll get that value otherwise you have to find out on your code because uh, uh, by finding code we have provided that value here so no need to find that value again now when you'll get fa and fs we'll multiply that value then uh, with that value i will multiply with uh, i mean uh, with the value of sms we'll multiply it as two third then again i will multiply that value with 0 0.2 is it clear to you in that way we'll be able to find out our vertical earthquake load and uh, they have another method or another uh, exception i will tell you to go to that section 12.4.2.2 for details study okay before uh, studying anything it's very risky to uh, analysis or to design a building now what we'll do and uh, to do it already i have created an excel sheet so here simply we'll provide the value of fa and ss as per asc 716 and we'll get that value from here so here is the value or, or our coefficient 0 0.06 okay now i'll go to our software i'll close it close it i'll just go here define load combination ev modify load combination and it's 0 0.06 that's it now why i have taken that as a, another I mean separate load combination or why i have provided that value here because now when we'll go for a different reason different value of f and sa then we have to change all of that for where we have used ev but as we have changed here in our every combination it will change automatically that was our main motive to do it so i think it's now clear to you that how we'll be able to define or how we'll be able to uh manage a perfect combination so that further when we'll go for any types of work 
no need to change your combination i'll just click ok i'll save it that's it now we are ready to analyze our model but before analysis our model we have to do some simple text and then we'll go for our final model analysis thank you thank you very much